Hi there, Lisa, old buddy. Ready for another great day in the dark room? <laughs> what are you up to, Arnold? <laughs> up to? Yeah, what's with this old buddy stuff, and why haven't you insulted me yet? <laughs> why haven't I insulted you yet? You know, I think that's what I like about you, Lisa. It's your, your great sense of humor. Or is it, no, your, your, your congenial manner. Or maybe it's your gentle... Knock it off, Arnold. What happened? Someone tell you you can catch more flies with honey? <laughs> uh, no. Look, I know we had a blow-up the other day, and we got a little carried away. No, we didn't get carried away. Your big mouth did. Right. It's quite uh, insightful on your part. Why, thank you. But it doesn't take much insight to spot a stupid jerk like you. <laughs> Does it? You're impossible. I've had it. I give up. Well, I give up too. I can't work with you. Well, good then. Then it's all over. Goodbye. Happy trails, dumbo. <laughs> Arriva dirt, you crustacean face. <laughs> uh, adios, jerkina. <laughs> oh, no. What's the matter? Can't even open the door without messing that up, too? What a loser. Look out. No, oh, Lisa, just forget it. Charlie jammed the lock to trap Susan in here with him. We're locked in here. Locked in? With you? Oh, I can't think of a worse torture than that. I can. Being locked in here with you. and the janitor doesn't get here until 10 o'clock at night. Just try the door again. Oh, forget it. The lock's jammed permanently. Charlie's method is foolproof. How do you know? I taught it to him. <laughs> Wait till Mrs. Walters hears about this one. There you go again. Why are you always trying to get people in trouble? I don't get people in trouble. I only report what I see. That's what makes you rotten, Lisa. Well, a policeman does the same thing, and it doesn't make him rotten. Why have you chosen to be a policeman at age 15? Well, someone's got to keep people like you in line. I can take care of myself. Obviously not. You got us locked in here, didn't you? And it was because you were leading poor Charlie off the old beaten path. Can I help it if I'm a natural-born leader? Yeah, but look at your following. Robbie, Dudley, Charlie, and Ricky. You're the Pied Piper of the nerds. They're not nerds. They may not be the coolest guys in school, but they're not... I mean, at least they're... They're nerds. <laughs> well, I'd rather have them for friends than to be like you with no friends at all. Look, I may not be popular, but at least I can admit it. So why don't you? I mean, you and me, we're not exactly part of the A crowd. Don't put me in the same category as you. Matter of fact, don't even put me in the same species as you. <laughs> Face it, Arnold. I'll never be a cheerleader, and you'll never be captain of the football team. See, that's the way you see things. No hopes. No dreams. Your life's over. You have absolutely nothing to look forward to. And what do you have to look forward to? For starters, getting out of here. <laughs> Arnold, face it. The truth is, you're no more popular, no cooler, and no better than me, and it kills you to know that. That's a lie. Tooth hurts, huh, Arnold? Just shut up. We're gonna be stuck in here, so let's just print this roll of film. At least that'll keep us from having to talk to each other. <laughs>